What's up? It's Raphael with NBA Draft Junkies. I have another video for you today. The prospect that I'll be covering is Anyeka Akangu from USC. He's a guy that I'll be totally honest with you. I did not have him as a lottery pick or rated this high on my draft board coming into the season. He had a very strong freshman year that has propelled his draft stock to, in my opinion, I think that at the worst, he's a top 10 pick. So check out this video while I break down what I like about his game. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. My goal is to produce the best NBA draft content on YouTube or on the internet or on all the draft websites. So again, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Anyeka Okongwu is a cross between the old school back to the basket center from years past and the athletic rim rolling vertical lob threat that is so valued today. When he has the ball on the block, he's a tough matchup for defenders. Although he's a bit undersized at 6'9", he has a reported 7'1 wingspan that makes up for his lack of ideal height. In 28 games this season, he converted over 63% of his post-ups, which ranked in the top 94 percentile in all of college basketball. He's blessed with great hands, a soft shooting touch, and is comfortable shooting with his right or left hand around the rim. Although at times he seems a little raw, he possesses good footwork and has developed a go-to move and a counter. For example here, he drives to his right and spins back to his left for a soft touch finish. For me, this is an impressive move simply because he's a natural righty and he has the footwork, touch, and confidence to make plays with his weak hand. One of Okongwu's best attributes is his tremendous athleticism. He's a high flyer that explodes off the floor and looks to finish strong around the rim at every opportunity. He has quick twitch reflexes, and what separates him from a lot of bigs is how quickly he loads up to get above the rim. Position trailing by 10. Good backdoor cut on the baseline. Adlish in the feed to Onyeka Okamwu. He did either have beautiful back cut, throw it down. When most people think of athleticism, you think of vertical pop, or how fast or how high a player jumps. If you've seen my OB Toppin video, I discuss how Toppin is a great vertical athlete but lacks fluidity. Okongwu isn't as bouncy as Toppin, but it's by a small margin. But I feel like he's a lot more fluid in the hips, as you can see on this last play here. Okongwu, beautiful move, man, he is skilled. How about that? This season at USC, only 11.6% of Okongwu's possessions were as the pick and roll man. Now I expect those numbers to double, maybe even triple as an NBA player since he's such an efficient scorer out of pick and roll. When he was in position to be used as the roll man, he shot over 65% from the floor. He's a very good screener that moves well without the basketball. His hops will always make him a vertical lob threat, but he's also capable of catching bounce passes and making plays in space. When I scout bigs, one of the things I look for is how well or how often he runs the floor. A big man that sprints the floor in transition can not only get easy baskets for himself, but his gravity can create scoring opportunities for his teammates. Okongu has the foot speed and the motor to be a highly effective rim runner in the NBA. He even shows flashes of being comfortable as a ball handler in the open court. Not careful with the ball as Okongu flew to the hoop, counted, it went in. Turnover by the Buffs. Okongwu dunks it with the finish. At the very, very minimum, Okongwu should be able to carve out a long NBA career as an energy or hustle guy that attacks the offensive glass and scores off putbacks. He's a relentless rebounder that averaged over three offensive rebounds per game in 30 minutes of action. Over 18% of his possessions this season came from offensive rebound putbacks, which indicates he can impact games on his own without being spoon-fed scoring opportunities from his teammates. He converted 68.3% of his offensive rebound putbacks, which ranked in the top 90 percentile in all of college basketball.